Daesh suppressed the communities and perpetrated barbaric acts against the communities, majority and minority communities. Sunni Arabs, Shia Arabs, Kurds, Christians, Shabak, Yazidis, and others. And what is less known for the outside world is how Daesh implicated local tribes, local communities, in the, and, and has sown the seeds of division and violence on which they survive. In one such act, in the city of Tikrit, uh, in the province of Salah Haddin in Iraq, they committed what is called the Spiker Massacre. And this is important. Uh, this is the breakdown of what CVE, what's recruitment, what, 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 what all that means comes to life. S uh, Tikrit fo falls at the fault line between the Sunni-Shia divide in, in, in Iraq, in that area. So the massacre, the, it, which killed 1,700 Shia servicemen, mostly young cadets, from 20 Shia tribes from nine provinces of the south. That was a wound that was wide and deep. And you have to see this in the context of the Iraq war and Iraq violence, violence for 11 years uh, before that. And at, at the heart of it was sectarian violence. So for the Shia, this was yet another act of the Sunnis, uh, against, uh, uh, an attack against, against the Shia. It, was, it widened the schism uh, against, uh, uh, towards uh, that was between the, 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 two, the two communities. For the Shia, they perceived the Sunnis to be either terrorists or supporters of terrorists. And this was yet another example. So this act, this massacre, had the potential to spiral out of control, unleash cycles of violence that would have been extreme, at the tribal level, that would have been extremely difficult for the Iraqi army to control, for the counter Daesh coalition to respond to. And that kind of risk would have made Mosul, the liberation of Mosul, which we have before us today, even far more difficult, if not further delayed.